In this video, I'm going to be doing the rear springs on the Mark IV Mondeo. So let's crack on and uh, get this job done. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do to replace the rear springs on the Mark IV is slacken the wheel nuts off so I can jack it up and then take the wheel off and then give me access to the, the actual spring at the back here. So let's get this wheel buzzed off with my buzz gun and crack on. So here's the spring, we've got access to it now. It's quite simple to get to. What I'm gonna do is you can see why I'm changing it. It's a bit rusty and a bit worse for wear. And my friend that done the MOT for us said that, you know, they're looking a bit worse for wear on the back. To be honest, the whole rear end needs doing. You can see how crusty and flaky, it's all surface rust luckily. So the best way to do it is undo this bolt here lower this arm down and the spring should just drop out and then you just replace it so as always i'm going to use a bit of penetrant fluid and all, all my nuts and bolts and and leave it a little while to penetrate in let's get the uh buzz gun on that and crack it off okay so it's had about an hour to soak okay i'm going to use a breaker bar to try and crack it off and see if that helps shift it Take the time with it. Don't want anything to break. So do it up. Just keep working it back and forth. Using plenty of penetrant. Buzz gun. More penetrant on it. And I'm going to grab an, an axle stand and rest the car on the axle stand. And I can use a trolley jack on here to help lower it down. So let's get the axle stand out. Let's 
sure I can still see in the camera. Get my screw jack and I'm gonna just support it here. Should come down with it and the spring should drop out nope. might need a tap Room feels actually broken at the top. Yeah. Let's get this out. Pull down. Spring snapped at the top. It's actually snapped, you can see it just there. So it's a good thing I'm putting a new one in. So yeah. So before I put them in, I'm just going to line the new one down with the old one. Okay, just make sure I get them up the right way. But I believe on the new one there are some marks that indicate maybe that's the top. So there's quite a chunk actually missing off the top. Look here, that's where the top part is there. And it's snapped a good few inches off there. So yeah, it's quite worrying. So I'm gonna put it in the right way. Same the same as it come out. So let's set the camera aside and crack on. sitting right let me just get this out show you so that's the top mount okay if you see there's a little lip just make sure it's all flushed up like that and you're in, in the right place Now lower the the uh, trolley jack, 
put it underneath here and jack it back up into place and do it back up. The bumper stop looks like it needs replacing I know at some point. Another job for another day. tap this so it slides in let's grab the hammer bar as well to help. up get your bolt Put it back up. Drop it now. So there's the spring, new spring all in place. Quite a nice straightforward little job to be fair to do. The thing I highly recommend most jobs I do is always soak the bolts and nuts in penetrant a couple of hours before or something, get time to soak in. I'm glad I've done that. I'm a friend advised to do it. But they were clearly a bit worse for wear on the old ones look. So that's the passenger one done. Let's go and do the uh, driver side one now. So let's crack on, get the job finished. Get the tire back on and carry on. At some point I will be replacing probably a lot of this down here because as you can see it does look like it's in better days. So let's go and do the driver side now.
and as before, penetrant and the bolt. Yeah, it should be 15 mil. Try and crack it off. See what I, I always do this, I always crack it on, like tighten it up to try and crack the, the rust in the seal and work it back and forth while I was spraying penetrant fluid on it and it helps loosen it up. That's cracked loose. Bow's gone back out. As easy as that. So always use a bit of penetrant fluid and allow it time to, to clear. So now that's free. Let's get the spring out. So as we did before, we're going to lower it down by the arm here and slot it all out. Yeah, remember, we had to give it a tap, didn't we? There we go. Let's have a look how bad this one is. This one actually looks like it's been replaced at some point. That's actually okay. But we'll replace it anyway. So let's get the new, the new one, check them and then put it back in. Here on the other side, I actually put the markings to the top. So these top mounts and bump stops look like they could do with replacing. So I might look at seeing what these things cost. Let's get this in. Remember the little mark, the notch. Make sure it all lines up like so. Yeah, it might actually sit like that actually. Yeah, so the other side needs to be realigned. So for you guys, if you notice that and you're screaming in the comments that I've 
put it at the wrong spot. Don't worry, I've just noticed it myself. And I will be sorting that out. So, let's get this back in. That's in. Let's get the actual stand. Sorry, let's get the trolley jack underneath here and get it back up. If I didn't have the camera in my face, I could probably do this a lot easier, to be fair. There we go. And just like the other side, jack it up, get it into place, and get your bolt back in. Once it's all lined up, you can get to go and do it up. I will do all the talk settings and I will put the the uh, talk settings in the description. So be sure to check it out there. But that is two rear springs all done. The arms are going to need sorting out as well. So I'll do them another day and so with the top mounts and uh, the bush, the bumper stops here. So, yeah, another job done. Let's get the wall back on and call it a day. So they're both done, both sides. It is sitting high, as you can see, but in time that'll settle down. That's what happens when you put new springs in and everything. So compared to the front, give it time, it will eventually settle into place. So in the last clip guys, you would have seen me showing the ride height and saying about how it should settle, but it seems a bit high. So it's been a couple of days and I did post a photo in a car group to do with the Mark IV Mondeo and uh, a lot of the guys in that group said that it's too high now there is a bit of confusion 
over these springs as I've come as it's come to light and I've now learned that although they're the right springs for the car what I bought there's so many different variants to do with color codes and to do with the ride height or something to do with the springs is you know it's, there's a lot to it uh, so always check on your old springs if, if there's a color code sometimes it won't be there you know if they're original springs it could rust and the color coding could come off and stuff like that so I've learned from this and I've with a couple of the lads out of this group their help I've uh, got the correct ones hopefully and they'll settle and it'll come down so I'm going to flip the camera show you the difference between the springs I bought and the springs that these guys have recommended to buy for this car so let me flip the camera and I'll show you what's what okay so here's the springs I bought originally for the car this is the markings I'm on about on the color code on the springs when you take them off on the original springs if they've never been changed these might have rubbed off or the rust might have taken them away so it's hard to tell what springs you're getting so these threw up for the mark for mondeo and turned out to be the wrong variant of spring so this has got like seven coils on it one two three four five six seven okay and then with the help of with these guys of the car groups i they got me I got these ones from this company here and as you can see it's a lot less spring there's one coil less so technically if I've got this right I mean with the weight of the car pulls down it sinks and the ride height is lower so just bear that in mind guys or if you're able to when you've got to replace your springs to check for any markings that may help give it away what springs you need so bear that in mind when you're doing this although on ebay when i bought these these threw up the right ones for my car they clearly weren't and it would push the car up so the ride height the rear was too high and um, so i'm going to get these installed and see what happens so again i do the 15 mil here i've taken the weight off of the suspension with the trolley jack i'm going to get this out and replaced Now I'm going to look for them markings on here. So let's push this down and release. You, you, you can undo the, your drop link to help, but you don't need to right there's the markings it's on about if you remember on the original ones these were all rusted and there was on the other side there was a little green mark so let's get the original ones back in well I say original these new ones I'm going to get them it don't matter which way they go in what I'm going to do before I do that is let me show you Right, see in there. Okay, let's give it a good bit of a clean out. Got to find the. Should have done this first time. But then get a brush and I'll get that cleaned out. I'll come back. Giving it a bit of a scrape out with some brushes and my pry tool just to scrape some of the rust off around the edges. But just here, that's where the lower part of the spring is going to sit. So we'll get that in there now. Then we'll put the bump stop in and it sits up against just there. These are going to need replacing that as well. Look at the state of that. 
So let's get it all in place. About that, the, uh, the torque settings on these is 120 newton, newton meters. The torque, I'll do that all up off a of camera, but that looks better. The other side looks good. Let's see if it makes any difference on the ride height. So, let's get this back on the floor and just check it out. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna lie, a little bit disappointed, it is a little bit lower. But not by much however that will settle hopefully in about a week or so so it'll come down a bit more if not i'll just <laughs> do something a bit drastic and maybe lower the whole car so i was hoping it'd settle a bit more like the front Yeah, so it's still ridiculously high. Don't seem to be sitting as high as what the other springs was, those ones. So, let it sell a week or so. Let's see what happens. And I'll update you as soon as I can. So there it is, guys. As you see, I have changed them around. The rod height is still a little bit high. However, it should settle in a week or so. And... Uh, hopefully be better if not like i say take next step and lower the whole car a couple of inches i don't think it'd be a nice little upgrade if anything and um but all the guys on the in the car group thanks for all your help there's quite a few of you to name so i'll just thank you all and in the description guys there will be a link to the facebook group that these guys are on they you know they've helped me out there and like a lot of them said, although it's the right spring for the car, there's so many different variants to do with ride height and stuff like that. So always double check if you can. But like I say, on the original springs when you take them off, they might be rusty. The paint codes may have flaked off and come away, so you wouldn't be able to tell. So you just go with it and get ones that you feel are for that car. So and that's what I've done. And uh, yeah, as you can see from the video, it didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. But I want you guys to learn from this, you know, that's why I do these videos. I made a, um, a simple mistake, an easy mistake, by ordering the springs that I thought were for that car. They were, but just the wrong ride height, different color codes. So just pay attention and um, learn, <laughs> learn from it. So what else can I say? Other than if you watch the video this far, be sure to leave a like. Show YouTube it's a popular video and they'll push it out more. And it helped the channel grow. And if you're a new viewer, consider that subscribe button and show me that you appreciate the work I do. If not, I'll see you in a few videos time when I get back to work on here, on the Project ST. So as you can see, these side skirts here, they're going to be going in and being painted and everything else. So, till the next video, bye for now.